Gaffer, uh, I guess great pride in what you did throughout the game, but frustration at, at the second goal for Norwich City. <coughs> yeah, obviously, um, I thought it was strange that the, he wasn't given offside in the, in the build up to it. You know, a little bit of lack of concentration then, and the ball, easy ball in the middle of the goal. It's disappointing not to end up with three points with a goal like that. Especially when you'd solve the problem of scoring goals, two great goals from Omar Bogle. <coughs> yeah, I thought he did great. You know, he. He worked his socks off all night, you know, even in the first half, good opportunity with a good bit of play that if it was on his left foot might have probably finished that, but he was a threat all night. Um, <clears throat> you know what, I think you've got to praise Will Grigg as well because the, the amount of work he's putting over, you know, the, the last several weeks, you know, and again contributing when he came on tonight. You and it seemed a bit more direct second half. Would that be the case? You, you tried to get Norwich on the back foot, running back towards our own. Well, we did. They were direct with us, so we just matched up and went individual battles all around the pitch, and <clears throat> you know to try and stop them playing balls, you know, early. I, to be fair, I don't think the surface particularly suits us at the minute as well. You know, to pass the ball, I and mean, it might be a, a route that we'll have to take more often in home games. Mm, Omar Bogle's free kick. That was a moment of quality. He's got claims to, to t keep taking them now. Well, I think if you if you if you look at his goals, he scores a variety of goals. Like I think if you look, he's got free kicks, tap ins, headers, you know, right foot, left foot, scruffy ones, you know, and, and worldly strikes like that. So it's not something that you've not seen before. You come in here with a lot of positives, but the frustration you've only got a point. I guess you've <coughs> got to take positives forwards though, because there's a long old way to go in this season. Well, there's been some, <coughs> you know, you're a hell of a lot more disappointed. We're disappointed we've not got three because we deserve three. You know, but again, it's one of the top sides in the league who expect to get promoted, um, and we have come unstuck and not even got a point in some of these games. And if you looked at all the games where we maybe deserved at least a point and possibly could have won, they would have added up and, and helped the situation. So, you know, you're disappointed we've not got all three, but happy that we've got at least something out of the game. Putting Will up there with Omar is something a lot of people have asked about. Is it something, again, with the surface at home, you might have to look at playing more players up that field? <clears throat> I think you look at everything tactically on in different games. You know, it's not a question of, you know, if people want to pick the side and look and have two players up front. Mm -hmm. we, did, we had two players up front at Rotherham and we're 3-0 down at half-time. You know, it's, it's horses for courses. We've played some really good football over several weeks here and not not scored the goals but it's nothing to do with where people start because really Will Grigg in the second half was playing like a number 10 anyway so it's it's only what we've done with other players, attacking players you know so far this season there's not a lot of difference really. And, and unlucky at the end not to get the fifth goal and the winner Jake Buxton there's just too many bodies in the way it seemed. Yeah I, I thought the two centre halves were magnificent as well you know and, and it would have been great for him to get you know a goal there. He, Certainly puts his body on the line for the football club. As did they all, but him and Dan Byrne, I thought, stood up to the a test of two really good, high calibre centre forwards tonight and dealt with them well. I just wanted to mention Dan Byrne actually before your time here. Hard time when he first came in, a lot of criticism for him, but he, he really seems to have come on leaps and bounds. I mean, I certainly give him a bit of criticism himself the first game yeah. I was here, but the amount of work that like that's put in, you know, has been absolutely phenomenal, really. Um, just done the right things, done it in the training, worked and worked and worked because obviously Morg was in quite early and doing really well. So behind the scenes he put a tremendous amount of work in over a three or four week period. Um, and if you look at him now with his, his physique and his pace and left-sided, you, you've got to be thinking that, that he can go on and have a, a big career and have a big future in football. Huge effort from the players and I guess this is why you worked on the fitness because they've got to go again Saturday now. Well, we tried to put it into them, you know, during the <coughs> the early spell, I think there's one or two who thought the training was a bit hard, really, you know, not used to that tempo, but it it's hopefully pays off, certainly paid off tonight, we're driving the game and, and you, you, you're looking in the coming weeks that we can recover quick and go again because they've had loads put into the body, you know, earlier on.